so this this is the three star Kaisa path with our three star MF. Let's do this. Yeah, it's been a while since I played uh, MF. See, she's level only 14. You create a cost, cost one less. Allies everywhere that cost three or less are lurk. Allies have plus one. Do we create anything? Nope. That cost three or less are lurks. Majority of the cards are three or less, somewhat. So we will take this. And let's move on to our first fight. Yeah. So it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna mess up a lot because I haven't played MFs in a while. Okay, so we have our MF. We will throw away this dude. We'll keep cheap units. One, three, three. So yeah, we get a powder powder monkey every turn. And we draw when we attack. So we hit the face, we can do two of these. And even then we missed Lurk. No worries, no worries. Yeah, having a powder monkey every turn is pretty crazy. You can activate plunder almost every turn. Not almost. You can activate plunder every turn. Okay, do that, we do this. We'll put barrel. Actually, we'll put units. Oh no, this got bugged. Yep. No, it got bugged. Okay, wait. We got disconnected. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we play our MF. So MF passive does two damage, by the way, not one. So what we want to do is pull this, pull this, and that should do it. We draw. NMF does two damage to everything, not one, because she has Luden on her. Yeah, we just need the rally uh, power. Being able to attack every turn would be crazy. Okay, they have that. We'll put this. Good draw. We'll put prank. Increases cost more. They're attacking turn, MF dies. Unlucky. Who oh, dies for free? That sucks. Dude, this dude does 5 damage. We want units to cost 1 less. That would be perfect. Play that. Play that. That. Okay, wait. Actually, yeah. Nah, it's better we attack like this. I was thinking of using the scouts, but there's no point. There we go, the first win. We didn't take any face damage, that's good, that's good. So we want uh, powers that revolve around small units. Powers that like cost uh, one less when you draw them, things like that. Okay, ran the top here, plus three plus is pretty crazy. Summon a, fall, uh, summon a random six cast follower, it can't block. Nah, weird ability. This is actually pretty good, but 444 mana is too expensive. This is pretty good. The top card gets plus 3 plus 3 and plunder makes it 3. So 3 mana plus 3 plus the next thing you draw. It's pretty crazy. Let's see our support squad. This guy is 3-1. We can actually take it because we already have Lark squad on us. This is actually pretty, yeah. I'm gonna take Rek's side. This is so rare, but I'm gonna take it. Super rare. Uh, we're gonna go for the shop path. Imagine, yeah, the Lark Squad. Rek'Sai, holy shit. The first Rek'Sai support I got. Okay, so we have this, we throw with that. Um, We'll keep, make a train, we keep this. We can actually keep this as well, because we get monkeys every turn. Our attacking turn, we have a monkey with us to attack. And we did this. Uh, we'll take the trade. We didn't hit Lurk. Oh, we did hit. And we hit Rek'Sai. Oh, Rek'Sai gets drawn. That's unlucky. Yeah, the power doesn't combine together because you draw it. That's a little dumb if you think about it. Rek'Sai is 7-7, seven, seven, so he'll be... He'll be what? He'll be 9 if he hit... Yeah. So we want to play... Okay, that's too expensive. Uh, that's too big. Let's see what they do. Yeah. 
to get more stats. Hopefully we won't get quick attack. Hopefully we won't get quick attack. Quick attack. It's fine. Their life still that's bad. We'll play this. And play this. So we'll have a monkey next turn. I will send the monkey against that dude. We will have two monkeys next turn actually. We will have two monkeys. Okay. We'll play this first. See what we get. We get scout. We will block it like this. We got Lark, so Rek'Sai has technically leveled up. They heal for a bunch, but we have four monkeys. Two monkeys attacking each, each of them are four ones. Yeah, Lark combination with this squad is pretty dangerous if you think about it. I don't think they're gonna block it like this. Either. Oh, they are. It's fine. Pretty good turn for us. We took a little phase damage, but it's not fine. So anything which is under three cost is technically lurk. So we play this. Uh, play one extra unit. Yeah, so, so, so three star power is that you get a monkey every turn, right? So that means basically you have a blocker every turn. Unless it's against overwhelms. Even if they get tough. See, we always have a blocker. The monkey. There we go. We keep the mana. Okay, next turn is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. We can actually play this. It's fine. We're gonna level up our Rek'Sai. This is gonna be crazy. This is the first time leveling up Rek'Sai in Path of Champions. We play that. We play this. Okay. Oh yeah, we are against the Profiteer. So we can get hit by bloody business as well. I have to be careful of that. Okay, they're not doing bloody business great for us. We play this, throw this, confirm lurk on us, and we just open attack. Hopefully, oh yeah, we do draw it. Yeah, nice, nice. Rek'Sai in Path of Champions leveling up, holy shit. For the first time ever. There we go. We took a bit of face damage, that's unlucky, but still pretty crazy. Yeah, so the Lurk combo with this squad is pretty crazy if you think about it. All of our uh, units are cheap, okay. So, so one plus. I'm giving this quick attack, it doesn't really help, but I will take this on tough. It doesn't help that much, but if I can give some HP to that dude, he'll be great. Sparring student at the start of the turn is pretty crazy. Our sparring turn will always be two because we'll always have a monkey to aid it. But we can, I think we can get something better. Okay. For each round, the first time you play a spell, refill ma spell mana equal to its cost. Not the greatest, we don't have that many spells, plus it's expensive, you can buy it anyways. So we we'll go for another one. I will take it. We won't use the last reroll. We always want to keep one reroll just in case we can get something decent. Uh, something very bad. Sparring student is not the worst power out there. So there's another shop here, a slot bot here. So we're gonna go this spot to get a shop. Okay, that was something good, right? Okay, never mind. Tactician is here. So we for the shop, we take this spot, not that path. We'll have enough uh, money after this fight to buy a power from that shop. And there we can use a reroll in case we get something bad. Okay, these two are thrown away instantly. Okay. Okay, I will keep the harpoon just in case we need it. Pandemonium is pretty good. We always have a monkey, so Pandemonium, you'll always activate Plunder with a uh, 3 star MF. That's a very, pretty crazy ability to have. We do that, we do this. If they don't hit Lurk, this can get traded. We didn't hit Lurk, they can trade here. Unlucky for us. But we'll activate this time. Yeah, so your spine should always be too good. We will pass and see what they do. They do that, we do this. Okay, we can actually push more damage. Uh, the monkey is great and all, but this is more damage to this turn. So that's more important, in my opinion. Okay, turn four, no MF. Sadly, we play this. Oh, we tossed our shit, just quite bad. But he w went up a lot. So there's that. 
can't really do anything about that so we will also full swing so we trade like this we got our red sign which is six seven and then we'll open attack and then this time we will harp on that dude second next side imagine, imagine if this hits rex side he will level up instantly when you attack actually we'll play pandemonium we do so much damage to face like without even doing anything we do so much damage to face so many harpoons okay. play this if they play the uh yeah that will trade it and harpoon the girl harpoon does five damage so we need to technically trade it we'll do this we'll take the one damage we'll harpoon the girl and the next thing we'll draw we'll have plus three plus three if it's a rex side then she will have, she will have nine seven nine ten i mean look at this guy he's a three mana six four why wouldn't i take it yeah the blocking it's fine by us we'll play rexai just for the sake of playing it uh we'll swing like this oh do we did hit, hit, hit uh lurk and he's gonna give another lurk everything will get more buffs. so even if you don't level him up he's basically like a, a announcer the battle caster he does give everyone plus one plus one because everything almost is lurk he goes back into the deck, unlucky. But the next attack meeting he'll level up. These harpoons are pretty badass if you think about it, because we'll always be able to activate plunder because of the monkey. Unless they stun the monkey, nope. So do that. Uh we'll pass. Okay, they're gonna grab something. Okay. We'll trade it like this. We let it die, it's fine. They heal a bunch. That's unlucky. We'll play this. And we'll play Rexai next turn. We'll back at the wild. Uh, follow the back. We play this. Stun. Okay. We will throw this back into the deck to confirm alert. We got Jawfish. And we open attack. And she he will she will give everything plus one as well. Yeah, super combo. I think this is not well uh, prepared or uh, planned, but it's working out. Yeah, it's working out pretty well. We do 7 damage to face it. It's fine. Super, super. Yeah, you know, Path of Champions is so uh, fun. One of the main reasons why Path of Champion is so fun is even if it's the same thing, like people say that you get tired of the same thing happening over and over again. But the thing is that regardless of how many times you play, just because of one support champion being different, the experience is so different. Like its experience is so fun. I don't know what this guy does. It's epic. I get that. But I have a shop here and I value power more. Surviving get allies get plus one plus two. I will take it. Again, no reason to reroll because we have only one reroll left and we might as well use it when we get something very bad. That doesn't work out. But for now, we'll take it and face uh, Aurelia with our six powers. If you went that direction, I don't think that dude gives powers. So we take this one. It's fine. Okay, we have a make it train. We'll throw away the second one. Uh, we have our monkey. We're attacking. We have our monkey to activate this guy. Sparring Sudan as well. We open attack. Dish. Activate our plunder. Uh, activate our horse. Oh, uh, activate our lurk, and that's uh, um, Rexai. Activate our plunder. So we will trade it to trade. Yeah, we will trade it. We will trade it because this is a live body, and this this is a nuisance of having them on the board. So we play this guy. With this guy. Next turn is Ariela, but they won't, she won't have the Blade Dance ready. She won't have enough mana for... Oh, she she does. The Blade Dance costs one less. I believe the Blade Dance costs one less. Yeah. So, so they will be using that. What we can do? Yeah, we can do this. We'll put our Rek'Sai. If they use that, they lose their area. So that was a defensive Rek'Sai play. So that, they're there. We play this. We won't play Rek'Sai. We'll play Rek'Sai next attacking turn. They recall it it's fine by us they will do a little bit of damage to us 
shit she grew by one okay so we can do this this is gonna die anyways at the end of the turn right so we trade it to take less face damage and we and we then send it the reason why we're not playing her is because we are saving her for the next uh early level pick no point putting vulnerable on a unit that already has vulnerable i should have just make it rain right kill that unit so we are saving her for the next uh, early level pick that one is we will play this kill the elusive one get spell shield the blade dance We'll trade uh, our this for this. Face damage is irrelevant. This is a boss fight. We recover full after the end round ends. We do this, predict, and get something decent. Um, we can. Um, too many things are here, so we'll take make it trim. We don't want too many this girl, right? You can only worry about the second area, not the third one. So we'll play this with the powder cake because we are gonna get make it trim next turn. We know that we are gonna make get make it trim this turn. So we have a, a combo of two damage each, not one. So let's see what they do. They recall it, fine by us. Now the make it rain is going to be very useful. We're going to make it rain, kill it for two damage. And they open swing and finish the game. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we this is more or less of a uh, MF run than a Rek'Sai run. It feels like I'm getting Rek'Sai more. But it's fine, we'll take it. We take the win super super so far so good we will heal for punch round start i get a gem out of all these powers i don't technically like any of them uh it's just because uh we are getting so many cards in our hand as it is nap is not that great giving a gem is not the worst if you think about it um you know what we will we will put gem on mf I want to use i want to keep one of my um rerolls for something like emergency not like that uh, we draw a lot so we don't want draw this is a perfect situation when you would um want to use your reroll so i'm going to use my reroll uh attack grow my health to match my power out of all this this is actually not that bad what does take when you play a created card we don't have that many created cards so this is not going to work out for us I'll take this one. I'm not gonna take Nab. Nab, uh, it's clustering our hand as it is. So we're gonna go to the red path. Even this path is pretty good. We're gonna move on the left side. Because we are doing red path for everyone. So might as well do it with MF as well. Don't break the tradition. I missed one red path with Jin, I think. I will redo that. No worries. Okay. So we have no units. That's quite bad. This is a very dangerous fight because it's a red path fight. So you have to be very wary. Um, we won't take make it rain because we are we have all spells so we need units and if it's here which is very good for us we want this dude to die so we want them to attack actually we want them to attack so we they want what well, the reason why we want with them to attack so that this guy dies it hits the face and these two activate so we have actually a very big board on the we have a very big board so we play this, get vulnerable to this guy. So MF is safe when we play her next round. And she gives us one extra mana every turn. So that's good. We'll skip one turn and try to match their mana. So hopefully they won't kill it. Full swing, of course. MF does two damage to everything. So this guy is dying for free. And we hit Lurk. Everything is getting plus one. And their HP grew to the attack power. It happens later, so that's pretty good guys this gets traded unlucky there we go this thing is gonna come out with a high level high overwhelm on them we're skipping one uh, we're uh, going ahead in one turn because of mf yeah so they played that um uh, we're gonna we're gonna go wide with scouts because we have an mf on the board we definitely want to uh, attack more times to level up mf mf is one of one by four so she will attack the next attacking turn unless we get rally and stuff which we're not we're getting rick's side so first we will fight uh, attack with the thing okay so they have a sub stat booster we can attack like this activate ms passive two damage each they're not blocking and this turn we will put rick's side here replace it and do a very big full swing except uh, without using mf of course we get lark as well and she, he's gonna buff, buff she's gonna buff everyone except this one of course anything under three cost gets buff because this is not a lark anything under three cost has lark so that's a big turn we are sacrificing here actually my rex is not technically dying but 
Dead's dying. This is dying. Rex is going back into the deck. No worries. Uh, we'll keep the mana. Go next. Rex goes back into the deck. She has done her job. And she's 3 by 4 So she will level up next turn. So MF. Okay. We will take this. It's not, it doesn't have overrun. So you're not too worried. So that... That blocked it. We uh, give vulnerable to that guy, I like that. and then play yeah, this fish that does five elusive damage. We the and there we go. Uh, we will attack with the scout first. <laughs> level up MF, and then do, do, do another damage. MF's Let's passive will do now four damage, I believe. Oh, how much damage? Five. She does from 1 to 2. I think 4 damage each now. How much is her passive doing? 3. Oh my god. Her passive is doing 6 damage solo. It's 2. It's 1 into 3 times. So 2 into 3 times is 6. Shit. That's crazy. Yeah, that was super. I didn't know that it's 2 into 3. That's 6 damage there. Man of Sakaar. Uh, when I'm summoned. Uh, skills and everything does one extra damage. Seven mana is too late. If this was costed less at five turn, uh, if this was like ancient coin on her, uh, this card to get it on turn five, I would have played it. But seven mana is too less. We will die by the time we reach that turn, especially against um, Kaisa. So we'll attach uh, this onto the uh, pre existing uh, parlay and then we go, go get our mother power. We'll see what we get. Why are we getting so many nabs? Uh, Every time you summon a uh, unit, it will have challenger. I actually like it. Not the worst one. We have 400. We can buy a rare one. Let's see what we get every round. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the one power that we were hoping for. Every round we rally, meaning we attack every turn. So we have 120 gold on us, but we let's look at this thing. This is a shop. This is an epic. So you need 400 gold to buy this power, which we don't have. So there's zero point of going to the right side. I will might as well go to the left side where there is a chance of us buying something. Okay. What to 120 gold? If we take too much damage we can just buy full heal here but we're not gonna go to the right path let's just see what we can get nothing decent move to the left side and more work towards this one we have nine powers which is crazy another epic would have been great but we don't have the goal to buy it so it's fine so it's their attacking turn we would want these two but throw away the other two we have a three unit unit Rex is here. We unit, unit. We were actually you could have kept one of the spells, but we get units from the uh, powers anyway, so that's not a thing to keep in mind. Oh, yeah, we attack every turn now, so that's pretty crazy for us. So what we do is we pull. Oh, our units also have challenger, so that's pretty crazy. Okay, so what we do is we don't attack because if they, yeah, if they attack, oh damn, they got fearsome. That's so like lucky for them. Okay, we will attack now. I didn't think that they would get fearsome and take unnecessary two damage to face. So we'll attack and activate Pandemonium. Chip away their uh, Nexus damage. It's turn 3. We have two monkeys on the board. Monkey, uh, make a train. Um, I will actually put a power powder kick just to, like, keep our make a train open. So we do this. This, this girl survive. Okay, she doesn't survive. We got hit by Lurk. All of their HP goes to the attack power, which is pretty... This, I normally never take this power. I just don't. Never needed it. That's fine. But it's pretty useful this time. Oh, it's a temporary buff. Actually, it's not a temporary buff. Because she loses her stat. That's fine. Okay, that's a big body with overrun for us. It's keeping more stats. Okay. That's pretty dangerous if you think about it. Um, we will definitely play scouts. Big body with HP on the board. Okay, powder cake. They're pulling powder cake. We'll block it like this and we'll block it like this. Yeah, we're still taking 15 damage. This is the reason why uh, spending too much gold is quite bad because you won't be able to heal at the last part. We have to make sure that we have enough uh, gold to buy stuff, uh, buy the heal next turn. Um, actually, we'll just, we'll just trade it like this. Yeah, we'll just trade it like this. Draw one card. Go hard for two. We won't attack. We don't need to. Unnecessary. We don't want to give put in a negative trade on that side. Okay. So what we want to do is we will play this. Okay. How much is that? Oh, damn it. If this was a plus two, then we could have you level up Rek'Sai. Unlucky. Oh, we'll play this first. We will definitely play Rek'Sai. We have to challenge them with uh 
firepower or we won't survive we that so the quick attack is not going to be as bad as you think i'm going to show you why we do that uh we put quick attack on rex side and send it against this girl uh now pull it here pull it here pull it here and oops put it here yeah there we go yeah. nice nice she hits hit they hit lurk she goes by one attack power and kills it immediately without her dying nice We don't have to worry too, about, too much about this. We have make it rain to kill them. If we hit the one that we want to, of course. We have our attack token. If they play something, we open attack. They do that. We make it rain is pretty risky if you think about it. But we will risk it for the biscuit. We got one of them at least. And we activate a plunder. That's good. We have thralls on them. Um, what we want to do is we definitely want to play this. This is five damage. Okay, we'll we'll open attack, do it like this, and do it like this, so that they have to trade it like this. This is forcing them to trade like this, and we're okay with this because we're gonna um, harpoon it. So if they okay, they're not attacking. We are definitely not attacking. We don't need to lose that. We don't need to lose our units against this because we have a monkey coming in with challenger every turn. Look at her, the monkey. She, one mana, free monkey, six one with challenger. Holy shit, super crazy. Okay, so let's play cheap units first. One mana first. See, let's what what this card is in their hand. Another one, fine by us. We play this. Look at how big our units are. It's crazy. Uh, if we play that, then we lose a thing. But we'll play it. It's, it's a 3 mana 8 one. It's 8 2 with challenger, so we'll take it. We'll full swing. Okay, we. Okay, first of all, let's do a small swing. Red side is here. Unfortunately, we can't play her. Now we have 4 mana. Now we'll do a full swing. Uh, throw the monkey against the biggest one. This one. Um, throw this against this one. Throw this against this one. And that should do it. Yeah, 21 damage. And finally, we got MF. Yeah, a little late to the party, but it's fine. We take a bunch of damage, um, but that's good because we have gold to heal. So we took a lot of damage, but we have the gold to heal back. Um, nab, we don't really want. 7 mana, too expensive. 8 mana, very expensive. So we have to take this one because I don't have the option to reroll right now. As you saw that we are having too many cards in our hand. It's clogging our hand. We don't technically want anything. Summon a follower, new card, new card, new card. We don't want any of them. Just leave, go to this shop, use the gold to fully heal. That's a much better investment. 150 gold to fully heal from 11 to 30. I will take it see there we go so we are at the three star kaisa boss fight with our three star mf with one revive and 30 uh, hp so let's do this round start the four grants each of their units plus one and a random keyword so they grow on the ground if, to, if you don't kill them we have nine powers on us and let's see how well we do okay so we have parley on us we have our champions on us um we have this on us we'll take it this is actually a very good Rek'Sai being on the hand is a little bit uh, dangerous, but we only have Rek'Sai to deal with uh, Kaisa when she comes on the board. Okay, so they are not doing anything. Um, what we would want to do is actually open attack. And now we that we got him, we can play him. We play him. If they play a Voidling, we should parlay it. Nope, they're just playing Queen's with Spell Shield, which we can't technically do anything about it. But it's fine, we have Rally every turn, we're not too worried. Uh, Rek, uh, Kaisa is coming out next turn, which is technically their defensive turn. Uh, so they do that. We will play MF, and then we'll open attack. They do that. Um, do we do anything? Nope. We take the full damage first, is because this monkey will kill that. Then we do this and this. Quick attack. So uh, nope. Quick attack means this one. There we go. The reason why I did it like this is because now two damage is being fired from MF's passive. This is going to die to the monkey. That's why we took the four damage. It's fine for us to take the damage. 
So this is done. This turn is done. Now this is um, Kaisa's turn. So we'll pass. And so they're leveled up. So Kaisa has leveled up. So we'll pass. She, they will play Kaisa. She will level up. She will go to 11, I believe. Or 10 or something, right? Or she says 9. Oh, yeah, her stats don't change. I, for, oh, I forget it. Written. So we play our Rek'Sai with a challenger and we'll send against um who else has challenger this guy has challenger there we go she does hit once and it's enough to kill uh kaisa seven two damage from there there we go uh we are not actually safe from losing because they will play their second kaisa next turn and do some massive level of damage um so the thing that we have to do is something i don't know what to do actually at this moment it's a nine so so what should we do they play that um we play uh we play this against the face we activate this we got a very good finisher card in our hand we also got another parley the face damage they're gonna do that um we're gonna do even more but this time we're gonna hit it against the face the reason why hitting is against the face because we this this is a slow spell we cannot use it during the attack so you we use this now and this and this to kill kaisa during the attack you always want to use the slow spells first like this we'll keep it we'll get a second uh ml just in case she dies seven they do that we do parlay and we do harpoon together kill her when she gets killed this gets cancelled out Never stop so no one takes any damage there we go and now it's our attacking turn we'll mean it's our attack and just finish it off there we go a very good crazy combo squad by rexai and mf probably one of the most unique wins i had with a, a support squad that's how we do things in bilgewater there we go. Okay, so three star guys are path cleared by our three star MF. Let's see what we get. Hey, not the worst one. Okay, champion attachment tank. Uh, we have two champion attachment on our MF. One is a rare one, one is a common one. The rare one is when as long as MF is on the board, all your skills and uh, spells do one damage, including her. Uh, make it rain the one no, not make it rain the one that does one damage to everything on the board when you're attacking that also does more one extra and she has quick attack the one other attachment i got from the path was the crystal carrier every round as long as she's on the board you get one extra uh gem not every round every uh, she gives one extra gem every round if that makes any sense you'll always have plus one mana basically that's what she does if she's on the board not without her right moving on to the powers uh we ra uh, every round start we attack meaning we have attack token every round whenever you summon uh, an ally granted challenger this means okay i will explain what this means uh whenever allies attack grow their hp to match their attack power and this is going to combine with the lurk thing i'm going to talk about it when an ally survives grant it plus one plus one uh when they hit each other i think you know whenever they take damage here and survive so game start summon a sparring student so this sparring student will have challenger on the first turn when she uh, the, when the some uh, sparring st uh, student is summoned again allies everywhere that have cost three or less are lurkers and have lurk meaning every uh, unit that has less than three cost will automatically become lurk units including mf okay and this is the three star power of mf every round start you will have a powder monkey and why is this crazy is because this powder monkey is summoned every round and this combines with the challenger meaning the powder monkey will always have challenger and we have attack token every round so you will always have a monkey that will be a lurk as well and the attack power of the monkeys will grow every time you hit a lurk this is such a big combo it's four powers combining together to get an absolutely ridiculous combo and yeah and the next power is mf's two star power uh, round start we get one extra mana and whenever allies attack 
uh, draw a unit so that's why we are, our hand was getting clocked because we had rally every turn so we were attacking more than once because uh, mf squad also has scouts so every time scout units and normal units attack we get draw two so that's why our hand was getting too clocked by clock we mean we had too many cards in our hand then we had to play a lot and the last one but not the least is stamina every game start we heal for two that's about it hey everyone thank you so much for tuning in do let me know in the comment section of which videos you want next and out of the four new champions which one should i unlock with that being said have a great day take care and catch you next time bye